I'm going to record. All right. So, hi guys. Hope everybody's had a good uh, week so far. We're midweek for February. I think it's the 11th of February. Wanted to do a little ambassador training. Um, for some of you, this is going to be um, an overview. For some of you, you've never seen this before. So I have this great list that I go down, and then I have other things that I cover as well. Um, I got great news for everybody that's um, either been with the company for a while, or if you're brand new, um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Guys, this is a simple business, and we want to keep it that way. So all of us ambassadors start at the same spot. We all start with uh, zero customers and zero ambassadors when we sign up in the company. I had no ambassadors and no customers whenever I signed up um, to uh, share Plexus and get it as a discount for my family. So um, the great news is everybody can do what I've done as long as they just keep with it, stay consistent, and um, share with everybody. So we all start at the same spot. There are um, <clears throat> some more great news. We all have the same products. We all have the same amazing company back at us. And... Um, we all have the same compensa compensation plan available to us. So that's a pretty big plus. I don't have anything different than you guys do. Um, there are two things that are most income producing for you guys as Plexus ambassadors. Um, two things that are the most income producing, and that is getting people to look at your products and getting people to look at the, in the um, compensation plan, the business. So those are the most income producing things that you can possibly do. So get out there and start sharing both of those things daily. So what's a good ratio for you to do daily as far as talking to people? Um, <clears throat> always like the, um, for those of you first getting started, if you're just trying to share with some and trying to get your business going, um, the five, three, one. And that is you um, hand, hand out five business cards a day. Share with three new people because sometimes when your business cards are hanging them on the wall or something, so we always, you know, cover ourselves by saying share with three brand new people. And one would be either check on one ambassador a day or one customer a day. Now, if you don't have any ambassadors or any customers yet, add that one into that three and make it four, okay? So just add some to it. Now, if you're somebody that's very, very goal-oriented then um, and you want to grow a little faster, then what I would do is um, speak to more than five a day. I know there are some people on the Freedom Team that are speaking anywhere from 10 to 20 new people a day. Don't let that scare you. That's um, for those people that are trying to grow rapidly. So um, just know as long as you're talking to somebody, you're getting it done. So. Um, let me shrink this a little bit. Um, so most income producing things that you can do, introduce people to your products, introduce people to the business. We have a wonderful business. We have wonderful products. So what I want to remind each of you is that, um, don't compare your journey to anybody else's. Okay. Don't say, you know, Sally, she's really rocking the business. She's outdoing me. I can't keep up with her. It doesn't matter what Sally's doing. It matters what you're doing. So you need to be asking yourself, what am I doing on a daily basis to get my business going or to get some more customers, to get some new ambassadors? So always compare your journey to yourself, okay? You're in competition with yourself and nobody else. Um. If you ever have days where you're just down and you're like, shoot, you know, I haven't got a customer in a couple days or, you know, a month or a couple weeks or whatever it's been, then get out and do something. Action creates motivation, guys. So um, get your butts up, get out there and start sharing. All right. We don't sell anything. I love that fact. Um, I share about the products and I share about the compensation plan. And um, in the process, I've helped many people change their lives, get their health back and um, add finances to their family. In many cases, there is so many people that are just, you know, 
at a loss. They're looking for anything. So don't count anybody out. Share with everybody. You just never know who's going to need our products and you never know who's going to need an extra two to 500 or thousand or 10,000, whatever the amount of money it is they need. They'll go out and get it. Okay. So always be a product of the product guys. I am a product of the product. I take my products faithfully every single day. So do, does my husband and so do my kids. So we should all be a product of the product. So, you know, that's a really, really important thing. Also, educating yourself on the products and educating yourself on the business. Now, when you sign up, um, your ambassador probably added you to the training groups, probably set up a training call and um, went over the products with you, went over your back office, how to log in, all that good stuff. So, is your ambassador response that signs you up responsible for everything that you learn? No and yes, in a sense. You can't expect your sign-up ambassador to hold your hand every day of the week. What they are responsible for is getting you added to these training pages, letting you know how to, you know, get signed up, walking you through your back office if you need help with that, and uh, sending you any documents that they might find helpful, which is something I try and do with every ambassador that I sign up. So after that, it's like playing ball, playing tennis. You're going to bounce each other off. You know, you're going to throw the balls back and forth. So if I bat the ball to say Jeannie and say, you know, I give her, you know, some information and say, here we go. If you have any questions on what I just sent you, please get back with me. Okay, she takes a day or two or whatever, a week, whatever to go through everything I sent her. She calls back and says, hey, I didn't know about this. Can you explain this a little more? Great. She sped it back to me and she reached up and I'm reaching back down and she's going to grow. So that's the same with anybody that I sign up. I always let them know I'm here for anything. Send me your questions and um, I'll help answer. You want some training? I'm here to do it you know, anything that they need. So, you know, bounce the ball back and forth to each other. Okay, guys? Um, it, it's really that simple. Just keep in touch. That's another a very, very important thing. Keeping in touch with your ambassadors and keeping in touch with your customers. Um, I get this question a lot. How often should I check on them? Well, in the beginning for your ambassadors, you're going to probably want to, you know, check with them, you know, work with them pretty closely the first 30 days. There's many things that you can do for them the first 30 days, you know, getting them signed up, um, getting them added to the groups, getting them um, some training on the products in their back office, and then educating them on the first steps to be successful in the business, which is uh, go silver, you know, so they want to be in, um, be looking for some three people to do the business with them, guys. So that's pretty important um, first step. Um, not everybody's going to jump off and be real aggressive their first 30 days, but you are going to come across those that are that aggressive in their first 30 days. So, um, that's always a good thing. Um, so what else do you want to research besides the products? Um, you want to research candied yeast, you want to research leaky gut, and you want to research, uh, blood sugar issues. Now, what are those things got anything to do with Plexus? Well, um, Plexus has amazing products that are for gut health. They have amazing products that are helping with blood sugar issues, the amazing products they have for pain, you name it, we've got something to help it. But because um, many people that use our products, even though um, when you look at our websites, a lot of it's based around web, uh, uh, weight loss, um, but we do have the probiotics and the bio cleanse and the fast relief cream and some other things. Um, you have to understand a lot of people that have health issues use our products and get some good results. Now you got to remember Plexus doesn't claim to cure or prevent anything, but if you're curious whether or not Plexus would help with somebody's issue, say somebody calls me and they have fibromyalgia or something, they're wanting to know if Plexus will um, maybe help them and give them some relief from what they're going through. You would Google the word fibromyalgia along with the word candida yeast or Google the word fibromyalgia with the word leaky gut 
or fibromyalgia with blood sugar issues. And those things would be linked some way. And most of the time you're going to pull up something through like WebMD or the Mayo Clinic, something of that nature. And it shows you how these things are linked together. So this is always a good thing to use, um, you know, that you can just jump on there and Google and check out yourself. So um, that those are some key things that you can do to know if maybe our products would help somebody. Um, so always know that on our team pages, on all of them, like my team page, if you're on my team or if you're on the Freedom team, um, we all have a files tab on those. So go in the files tab, look things up. There's lots of great research stuff back there. Um, make sure that your new team members know about that files tab as well. Um, when you get started with Plexus, some of you go from being amazing, happy customers to awesome rock star ambassadors. So some of you already have testimonies. And so that's always going to be something good to share with your people, your friends, your family, you know, so, you know, post a before and after picture on Facebook or tell people what's going on with you and Plexus on Facebook. But it's really important. I want you guys to understand, don't use Facebook as the only outlet for when you're talking to people. I encourage you to post on Facebook first and foremost, and I encourage you to post on Instagram, Google Plus, whatever social media you have, Twitter, those are all great things to do because it keeps people letting keeps letting people know that you're serious, you're still in this business, and you're not quitting. But don't count out picking up the good old phone and calling them or meeting them for coffee or when you're at family events or something, um, talk to them about Plexus. Another great thing is when you're around people in social events, what do a lot of people talk about? They talk about their health. They talk about weight issues. They talk about pain issues. They talk about finances being broke. And so you have these two wonderful things called ears and you listen, right? So when people bring this up, you know, you're going to want to, you're going to want to be concerned because you know, the average person is going to be concerned. Now, I'm always concerned about any, any health issues or what, or what have you with any of my um, friends or family. And um, so show some compassion, you know, talk to them about a little bit and then say, you know what, what if I had something that could help you? What if these products that I have that are all natural and backed by a 60 day money back guarantee could help you? So that's always something good, listen. Don't be scared. Don't let fear hold you back. I'm not going to lie to you. I've had my moments of fear and think, oh, what are they going to think of me if um, I tell them about these products I have? Okay. I, you know, I, I admit I've been chicken in some instances, but then I go back in the back of my mind. I think, what if it's their answer? So really, if I don't tell them, I'm doing them a disservice. If they don't work, they can get their money back. They're not out anything. So um, always remember that. Don't let fear hold you back, guys. Let it out. Share what we have. Maybe you can help somebody. Maybe you can change somebody's life. Um, I get people all the time that want to know what to do on a daily basis as far as um, they're working their business. So now I want to show you something. So bear with me. I'm going to um, share my screen and open something up here so that you can see this. Now, uh, let me shrink this up a little bit. Here is what's called your daily DMO. You can see on here there's different things. Um, it's, it's set up for like a weekly chart. So you got Sunday through Saturday. And on here, it talks about, you know, you get one point for taking your products and, you know, one point for posting on social media, contacting new product, uh, prospects, meet with new prospects, samples handout, um, selling the product, retailer preferred, following up, listening to training calls. Well, you can see, I mean, I could go down through all these, but you can see what this daily DMO is. And you can go through here and add points, you know, for each day 
as to what you do. And that's going to show you how much you've done for the week. This is really, really a great, great um, tool that you can use. I uploaded it on my training page today, and I've been messaged being told that um, you guys can't open it. So I'm going to get my husband in here to help me out, and um, we're going to get it in a different document that you guys can get open. So this is a great, great tool for you to use. Um, this, this is called the Plexus Shield of Confidence. If you were on the team call last night, Nikki Shala talked about this. I kind of laughed because I knew I was doing this training and I was going to talk about this. So if you're hearing it for a second time, well, that's just good. Uh, drilled in, is just going to get drilled in your brain that much, being that much better. I find a lot of people that do have fear about talking about Plexus, you know, this shield, if you just remember these things right here, will help you have this confidence while backing what you're talking about. So what's important? Your story plus two more is where you start. You know, when you're sharing about Plexus, if your story can relate to the person you're talking to, tell them about what you, you know, what it's done for you. Now, you know, Plexus has done so many things for me personally. So if I'm talking to them, say somebody says, Dusty, what has Plexus done for you? I'm going to quickly say, you know, guys, it has really changed my life. I used to have a skin condition that I battled for 10 years. I don't have that anymore. I don't have diverticulitis, any, diverticulitis anymore. I don't, I'm not pre-diabetic anymore. I'm eating less carbs. I'm craving less sugars. I'm sleeping better. I have more energy, you know, and I've been able to replace an income from me and my husband's both, both of our jobs. So quickly give them a small story, right? Now, you know, they're going to say, really, you know, are, you know, maybe it just worked for you. Did it, does it, has it worked for anybody else? Well, no, two more stories at least. Okay. Like if your mother uses it or your best friend, tell them, you know, this is what it did for my best friend. This is what it did for my mom. It's pretty incredible. And then you could say, you know what? Our products are backed by a 60 day money back guarantee. Nothing to lose. And then, you know, inevitably they're going to say, well, is there any scientific evidence behind these ingredients? Guys, this is what you can tell them. I don't, you know, I don't know what the scientific evidence is. You know, I don't know what the ingredients do, but what you can do is I have this great sheet. I can send it to you. It's got the breakdown of all the ingredients in each product. You can Google each ingredient and, and see what the, what it's good for. You know, inevitably, you know, WebMD or the Mayo Clinic will probably pop up. And it'll tell them so they can look at it for themselves. So, but then you can also say, but you know what? There are thousands of online testimonials from real people. It's not just me and the other two people that I talked to you about, but guys, here's the fourth one that's going to back you up. Our company has had phenomenal growth. You can't get 16,000% growth in the last year from products that don't work. 60 day money back guarantee. So this right here, this shield is going to give you more confidence to talk about Plexus because that's going to answer the most common questions that people ask. Okay, guys? So I hope that helps. And I'll load these slides up into my training group as well so that you can pull them up and have them. What this, this is, this is the 30-second elevator speech. And um, why does everybody need to have their 30-second elevator speech? Well, sometimes you have just a few seconds to talk to somebody because guess what, guys? We're, we're all busy and so are the people that you're coming in contact with. So always know um, something quick to say, you know, where I was with my health or where I was uh, financially, what I saw when I started with the products, what I did, where I am and where I'm going. So quickly, I would say, you know, where I was before I ran into these Plexus products, before I was introduced to them, I was the most unhealthy I was. I was uh, working a job I hated. I had the, all these crazy issues. What I saw whenever I started using them was improved energy, less skin issues, uh, no more pre-diabetic, no more diverticulitis. What I did... I kept taking the products because they were working and then I started sharing them with people where I am today with it. Oh my God, I feel better than I ever have. I have so much freedom and where am I going? 
oh my God, I'm going to the top. I'm going everywhere to tell everybody about these crazy products and what they're doing for people. So those are just five quick things to um, have included in your story in your quick 30 second elevator speech. So, um, you know, that is something that would be very, very powerful, you know, catch somebody's attention and then you can give them a business card or uh, tell them you'll follow up with them in a couple of days or whatever, but it's, you know, really a powerful thing to have. Um, this next slide kind it doesn't really go along with um, what we've talked about in the other three so slides, but um, what I can tell you is this, this talks about duplication. And so what is duplication in the Plexus business? You know, whenever I talked earlier about the first goal for a Plexus ambassador who's building a business is to have three ambassadors, you know, to go silver. So here's you right here. And then you get your three ambassadors, which is what we call your foundation. Now, guys, know that you can get way more than three, and I encourage you to get more than three because you just never know. You know, somebody might decide that business isn't for them or whatever, but get you at least three that are really working this business with you and that wants to do it with you to dip together. Um, and then after that, teach them to get three. All right? So next thing you know, you know, you have – three, six, nine more people on your team. And then what happens when you teach those three to go out and get three and their three to go out and get three is a big explosion be below you. Whenever I signed up with Plexus, um, I started immediately posting on Facebook and sharing with people what it was doing for me. And I made some phone calls, you know, saying, you got to do this business with me. It's crazy. You'll, you'll never believe it. You know, it's, it's multi-level marketing done right. You know, talking to people that I'm really close with and that would understand. And, um, so I got three, actually got more than three, uh, relatively quickly and, um, they started duplicating and it was just like this phenomenal growth. And, um, so share the excitement, encourage everybody when they first sign up to, to go out and get those three, I see people all the time that go silver quickly or, you know, and, and start to really grow with their teams. But like I said before, you know, don't compare your journey. If you don't get three real quick, it's okay. You know, um, diamond ambassador, Sarah Marble talks about it. She was silver for nine months. You know, it, that's okay. Look where she is now. She didn't give up. So these are just really, really good graphics to have. And, um, they can be really, um, beneficial for you to show your team members underneath you, your ambassadors, and um, give them a great demonstration on really what these four slides are, because they're pretty powerful and they're pretty educational. So um, let me shut my screen down here. So there I am again, I'm back. Um, some other things that I wanted to go over, and I don't want to keep you guys all night, but I did want to give you guys some good information to go on. Um, <clears throat> don't work 24 seven. You know, <laughs> we as Lexus ambassadors, you know, we, we talk and pride ourselves on having freedom, freedom to do what we want. And so um, set a time work, set aside work hours, which I'll admit has been hard for me some, um, because I'm a worker, that's all I know to do, but I've had to learn how to have fun, because nobody wants to just work all the time, they want, they get involved in network marketing, because they want the freedom, so, you know, set work hours, so if you're going to work from, you know, if, if you're a stay-at-home mom, and you can work from, you know, eight to two, then work from eight to two, if you have a full-time job, then get up 30 minutes before you normally do, and work 30 minutes, and, uh, you know, maybe work some of your lunch hour and maybe work a little bit whenever you get off work. You can fit it in there the way that you want to. But um, stay consistent with it. Don't work it just sometimes. Work it a little bit every single day. All right? But do show enjoyment. Do show that you're involved in other things because that's what people um, need to know about network marketing. It's not um, the normal kind of job. It's not your 
40 or 80 hour work week, okay? This is a, a job that you can work 20, 30 hours a week um, if, you, if, if it's your full-time, you know, if it's your job, if it's your full-time job, and get paid like no other. Um, so um, it's important to show people that network marketing is a way that you can, you know, if my kids have a ball game, then I can go and be at their ball game and I don't miss it. So um, don't make everybody be, think that you work, you know, 40 or 80 hours a week in this business. That's important because there, there's wonderful freedoms that come along with this job. Um, don't ever count out when you're talking to somebody the business opportunity. This is kind of something I missed in the beginning because I, I'm such a product girl, guys. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm massively in love with our products because of what they've done for me, my husband, and my two boys. So um, I, I truly believe everybody needs them. But what I've learned is, you know what, a big portion of my friends and family and people that I don't even know need financial help. So it's important to understand that the compensation plan with this company is like no other. Trust me, I've researched uh, a lot of other compensation plans and none of them have even come close to matching what Plexus um, has. So never count out somebody needing the business opportunity. Seek out people to do this with you. Seek out your friends and family, but also seek out people that have been successful in business. Guys, people that have been successful in business, they, they like to be successful. They, they like money. They want financial freedom, or they probably wouldn't be so successful in the business that they're doing. So um, network with a purpose, guys. Go out and find people um, that would be great business builders right alongside. Don't think because Sam down the road that, you know, owns the bank or whatever doesn't want to do network marketing. You know, in um, Eric Worre's Go Pro book, and that's another thing is, if you don't have this book, go get it. This is really important. But in this book, he talks about um, how he, he's excited that the days are coming that somebody says, you know, I'm a pro football player and a network marketer. I'm a banker and a network marketer. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm a network marketer. I'm a doctor and I'm a network marketer. So um, this is the way things are going. Um, there's some fun facts in this book, how it talks about 100 years ago, 100% of the population or 99% of the population was involved in agriculture. And now today, only 1% of the population is involved in agriculture. He also talks in the book how, um, you know, Blockbuster Video and a bunch of call centers and some other jobs out there that were available 10 years ago are not available now um, because more and more things are being replaced by computers and, and uh, technical technology and stuff that, you know, they don't need people for. This is why you see a lot of people um, – going for job interviews and there's like 20 people that show up for the job interview, but only good, they're only going to hire one person, right? That's right. And so there's going to be 19 people walking out of there with still no job. Network marketing, it's goods and services in a financial plan. And it's something that people will need and it's something that will be around and it is going to be the workforce of the future. So you might as well get involved now and you might as well do it right and build it strong. So, um, really, really um, important knowledge there. Um, so get some good books on network marketing because not only do we need to know about um, products and such, but we need to know about network marketing because that is the business we are in. Um, be bold with that statement. Be bold and be proud of that fact. Don't let the fact that this is network marketing um, be shameful in any way, shape, or form because it's amazing. Um, he says in this book, uh, network marketing isn't perfect but it's just better. And the reality of it is it is. Um, I have always had a job. I've worked since I was 13 years old and um, I worked for somebody else. I was building their dreams, not mine. This gives me the tools to build my dreams and not theirs. So you can either build theirs or you can build your own. So um, network marketing is amazing. Um, not only can you get books, but you can get like audios, uh, that you can listen to in the car if you're not much of a reader. Uh, Sarah Robbins, she's another wonderful one. So um, I can just pop this in my car and I can listen to it. Uh, you can get GoPro on audio and um, some other things on audio, but always be educating yourself. Always be making yourself be better as a, per as a network marketer, as your own boss, because you are your CEO of your business. 
that leads me to some other things. Do you have business cards? You should. If you don't, you need to get them. Um, because how else are you going to be able to hand your business card over to somebody and say, here's my website? Because they're not going to want to sit there and write down your website. Have business cards, guys. Um, stay plugged in. Stay excited. We have great training calls every Tuesday night with the Freedom Team. Our home office, Plexus, has um, training calls that they release and email out every Wednesday. They're great things to listen to when you get a chance. Um, Go to meetings. If you um, find a meeting in your area, please attend it. I don't care if you say, well, I've already been to one. <laughs> well, two months down the road, you might start getting down or depressed or, you know, just start, you know, maybe losing belief because you haven't had any um, new customers in a few weeks or whatever. But you go to the meeting and you're going to hear some awesome testimonies. You're going to hear a uh, great success stories and you're going to get yourself fired right back up. It's just like when you put the vacuum cleaner plug into the wall, right? When you plug it in, it fires up and it sucks things up. It, it works, right? But when you unplug it, it goes right back. It dies right back down, right? It shuts off. So stay plugged in. This is the importance of staying plugged in. Um, the other thing that I encourage you to do is um, also have a personal development book. You know, I love uh, You Can, You Will by Joel Osteen. I love books like that. Anything to keep me motivated and keep me happy and keep me positive. Because, guys, this business, where it is the best business, there will be highs of highs and lows of lows. You will have good days and you will have bad days. I'm not here to lie to you. It's not rainbows and unicorns at my, at my house all the time because I do life. I have a husband, I have kids, and I have... Um, lots of people on my team that need help or they need lifted up or they need more belief. Whatever I can do, I'm there. But sometimes that wears on me. And you're probably thinking about right now, God, how am I supposed to talk to people and read a network marketing book and read a personal development book and still have my life and have my job? Well, guys, it doesn't mean you spend, you know, 30 minutes a day reading this book or that book or doing this or doing that. I can pick up a personal growth book and I can read five pages in just a couple minutes and be totally filled up. Okay. It is that simple. This does not have to be hard. This is the not, does not have to be long or tedious. It just takes a little bit of time. Okay. Consistency guys. Did you know that the average person that stays with the same company, like I'm, I'm Plexus guys. So Three to five years, on average, if you work your business consistently, which means sharing daily um, and helping your team, in three to five years, you'll probably be at the top of that company in some way, shape, or form. So don't give up. Don't give in. Don't count yourself out. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in our products and believe in our company are A number one. All right? You need to have that. You also need to have your why. Why are you doing this business? Are you doing it for yourself? Are you doing it for your kids? Are you doing it because you just want to put money in a retirement fund? Are you looking for financial freedom? What is your why? So have your why and write it down. And then tell somebody what your why is. That's really important. Set yourself some goals. Set short-term goals. Set long-term goals, all right? Those are all very, very important things to be successful in this business. Um, excuse me, I keep looking over at my notes because I don't want to forget anything. Um, I want you to understand, in this business, we're building relationships. This is really relationship marketing, guys. Um, I have developed some of the greatest friendships through this business that I've, I've ever had. I've gotten to meet so many wonderful people um, that are very like-minded like us, you know, positive, happy, goal-oriented, uh, dream big people, and um, they're wonderful people. So this is relationship marketing. Um, reach down through your levels and get to know them because sometimes your rock stars aren't your level ones, even though I have a lot of you know, I have some awesome rock stars that are level ones, but sometimes your levels twos, threes, and fours are your rock stars. Build relationships with them. It, it doesn't mean that they don't go to their sponsoring ambassador 
Of course not. I would never take anything like that away from um, my level ones or twos that I'm working with their threes or fours. I encourage um, those people that I reach down to just to let them know who I am and that I'm uh, their jeweled upline and that I'm here to happy be, be happy to help them in any way. But first and foremost, I let them know that, you know, their sponsor is happy to help them too, obviously, or they wouldn't have signed them into the business, right? So I encourage them to go to them. But if that person's out of touch or at work or they need something answered right away, they're always more than welcome to come to me. But I encourage them to stick close with their sponsoring ambassador because I don't want to take any relationships away from those guys. I just want to introduce myself and let uh, my new team members down the way know who I am. So that's really important to reach down to your um, downlines and let them know who you are, okay? Um, let's see here. We went over business cards. We went over belief. And we talked about working your business consistently. Um, you can work this business part-time. You can work this business full-time. Just don't work it sometimes, guys. Work it daily, like I said, even if it's just 15 minutes a day, all right? You can tell three people about this business in 15 minutes. I can, you know, get uh, t-shirts, uh, maybe put um, a window decal on or stickers on the side of your, your you know, the magnets on the side of your car. T-shirts are huge. I usually have a Plexus t-shirt on almost every day whenever I, especially when I go out because inevitably somebody's going to say, what's Plexus? There are the doors wide open for me to talk to them about what it is. I'm going to hand them my business card and then I'm probably going to say, can I have your business card so we can keep in touch? Or can we be Facebook's friends? Are you on Facebook? And, uh, you know, I can hand them my phone and just say, hey, you know, here's my Facebook app. Can you type in your name there and I'll friend you? Um, and what's going to happen when I friend them? They're going to see my Plexus post and they're going to get a little more education. Um, another thing that's important is to have um, some trials, some trial packs. These are really great. Um, People ask me all the time, do you sell these? Do you give them away? For the most part, I think it's best to sell them um, because why is that? It's because when people buy this, they have something invested in it and they're probably more apt to use it and try it. Now, I won't say I haven't given them away. I have given them away in on occasions, um, but it really it's just seems to work out better whenever they buy it because they have something invested in it. And then whenever they do that, say, hey, I'm going to contact you in three days to find out what you love the most about it, okay? So that's important to word it that way, what you love the most about it. Um, don't pick up the phone and say, hey, you know, what did you think about it? No, what did you love the most about it? What did you see in those three days? Did you see maybe a little energy, maybe a little sleeping better, maybe a little curve of your appetite? So three-day trials, they're a really, really great thing. Um, Get a power partner to work with when you're building your business so that you guys can bounce ideas off as, out, off each other or um, say, okay, those are my, these are what I'm going to do this week and this is what you're going to do this week. Okay, at the end of the week, we're going to check on each other, see how it went, and make sure that we got it all completed. So power partners are really, really good. It's a really, really good thing to do and have. Um, stay positive, guys. Positive breeds positivity. Negativity breeds negativity. There's nothing that's going to kill a business any faster than drama. So keep it positive. All right. Keep your Facebook post positive, your Instagram post positive. You don't um, see me, Aaron, any negative things like, oh, me and Derek, we've been fighting like crazy. You know, who else has been, you know, at it with their husband? You know, generally Derek and I get along, but we are married, have been together for 20 years. We do fight, but I'm not going to air it on Facebook. And then five minutes later, post something that says, oh, join my team. Well, <laughs> somebody's probably not going to want to be joining my team if I'm up and down and all over the place. All right? So keep it positive. Don't let drama get in there, okay? Um, make sure you add your new ambassadors to the training groups. We went over that. We talked about networking with a purpose. Um, oh, this is a, a good thing. How to respond to this. I'm not a salesman. I don't think I can do what you're doing. Great. I don't want any salesmen on my team. I want people that are caring, loving, and that want to share these amazing products. I don't want no salesmen. Simple answer to that question, guys. All right. 
how to answer is it a pyramid scheme okay this one's really easy to me pyramid schemes are illegal and pyramid schemes are um, companies where people just put money in and they don't have a good or service to sell um, so we have amazing products so we're not a pyramid scheme right we're not that's a simple answer but if you want to get a little more detailed you can say well you know what does the bank look like to you? Isn't there a president, a vice president, a treasurer, a secretary, and then there's some, you know, tellers and workers and stuff in there? There's only one guy at the top, right? That looks like a pyramid scheme to me. I've worked in lots of pyramid schemes. Not that I worked at the bank, but I've always worked where I'm the low man on the totem pole, and there's somebody that owns that company, and it ain't me. And he's the one that's making the money. <laughs> so, guys, you know, Plexus isn't a pyramid scheme because I guarantee you, any and every one of you can outrank me at any time, you can fly right past me and I would just love that. From the bottom of my heart, I would love that. So it's not a pyramid scheme and it's not illegal. Um, let's see here. How to respond to it costs too much. This one's really simple to me. Use the method of feel, felt, found. All right? Somebody says, Dusty, I don't know how you can afford that. That just looks like it's just cost too much. And I'm going to say, you know what? I know how you feel because I was, I felt the same way. But here's what I found when I started using the products is that my grocery bill got cut in half. I quit stopping at the convenience store. I wasn't buying those um, fancy coffees when I went to town. And I was actually saving money whenever I started using these products. So, you know, that's really a good thing. Um, to know. Um, the other question I think somebody wanted me to answer was, what is Plexus? How do you answer what is Plexus? Guys, just simply tell them we are a health and wellness company that's changing people's lives. We have great um, gut and digestive health products. We have great um, products that are for weight loss. We have great products that are helping regulate blood sugars. We have a great um, line of fast relief products. So we are a great line of health and wellness products. I, I think it's, it's pretty self-explanatory and um, it's really a simple question. Try not to overanalyze things. Um, don't think too hard to share from your heart and remember how to use that shield of confidence. Okay. Um, and like I said, I'll post that in the training group so that you can pull that little PowerPoint up and, and be able to look at that closer. Um, so just stay consistent, um, work the business, step outside your comfort zones, guys. That's really important. Um, only 3% of the population is willing to do that. 98% of us um, or 97% of us, you know, stay in this little bubble of, oh, we're happy right here. It's better to not step out there. We're just we're warm and fuzzy. But great things happen when you step outside your comfort zone. And I promise you, you will be um, on a huge high if you step outside your comfort zone and do things that scare you a little bit every day. Um, you will find that you're able to do things that you never knew that you could do. Um, host meetings. If you're in an area where you can't find a meeting to go to, host one. It means you're that person in that area. You're going to be the first one in that area to do it. Um, if you've never been to an opportunity meeting before, get with your sponsor, get with me. We can, um, I can show you how a full-on opportunity meeting goes and how they're run. You can Skype me in, you can Skype your sponsor in, whatever it takes, and we can show you how to do that first opportunity meeting, and then you fly with it thereafter because, you know, my sponsor did that for me. I, I told her, I said, let's, I want to do a couple meetings. She went with me, she helped me out, and then she said, okay, Dusty, you can do this. You got this. And let me tell you, my eyes were like this big round. And I was like, what? You want me to do what? And she said, you can do this. I just had to really dig deep and decide, do I really want this? I did. I really wanted it. And so I just made it happen. Um, I won't say I'm sure that my first meeting, I'm sure my voice cracked a lot. I am sure that um, I was shaking. I'm pretty sure I know I was shaking. But I got through it. And each one I did that out. You know, after that, it got a little bit better and a little bit better, and I've been able to be successful. So um, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, 
I'm an only child raised out in the middle of nowhere, so I wasn't really socialized very well. I'm sure that I've got a lot of people that know me from birth up that are shocked at what I do, and, but it's just because I just told myself I could do it. So I know that every one of you can do this too. So step outside that comfort zone, start hosting meetings, you got this. Um, so good goal for every month, go silver every single month. Go out and find three new people, train them and duplicate, okay? Every single month, make it your goal to go silver, all right? Make that your goal every month. All right, guys, I have kept you on here for 45 minutes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to keep you that long, but we will do more of these, and I would love for you to post in my group any questions that you want answered, anything that I didn't go over tonight, and I will make sure and put it in my notes, and it will be on the next training call, all right? I hope you all have a blessed night. Thank you for joining me. I hope this has helped you. And like I said, we'll do some more of these in the future. Bye, guys.